This week's song search and video tip is based or derived upon a question we had at the help desk this last week, which is, is there a way to insert multiple temples um, within a single file? And the answer, of course, is yes. And in fact, you can do this with either the professional version or the standard version. And I'm going to demonstrate how you do this with the pro version. As a footnote, I'll just add that at the end I'll show you how to do it in the standard version, but it is a lot more tedious and laborious when you use the standard version, and it's a lot simpler and quicker here in this pro version. So there are really three steps to this. The first is to define those areas in which you'd like to change the tempo. And we define them by creating loops. So let's just assume for purposes of this video that there is the first loop, and that's an area we want to change the tempo in. Here's a second loop, and let's say here's a third loop. So we've created the three areas that we want to change the tempo in. And obviously, if you were doing this for real, you'd probably want to zoom in and very carefully set the beginning and ending of each of these loop points. So I'm going to assume that you will do that and that you know how to do that. However, once you have done that, once you've set your loop points up, then step two is to go to each of these different areas that you've defined and to change the tempo to whatever degree you'd like to. So in the first area, we select this loop by placing our cursor within it, and that moves the progress indicator to within the boundaries of it, which actually selects the loop. And then we simply go down here and we change the tempo to whatever setting we'd like to. In the first case, I'm going to change it to 75%. Move over here to the second loop. And in that case, I'm going to change it to 50%. And then let's move over here to the third loop, and in this case I'm going to change it to 40%. So now we have identified the three areas. We've changed the tempo in each of those three areas, and that leads us to step three, which is to export the entire song. In this case, we can save it as a WAV file or an MP3 or one of any number of these other formats, but let's just leave it as a WAV. Let's call it three Tempo song, click save, and as you can see down here, Song Surgeon says it's exporting, and you can see the progress indicator, and as soon as it's done, you will have created a new file, and when you open it up and play it back, you will hear each of these three separate areas play at the tempos for the speeds that you set for them. So it's really that simple in Song Surgeon Pro. Now, if we were doing this in Song Surgeon Standard, it's more laborious because you can only do it one loop area at a time. So we would do it by designating the first looping area, changing the tempo, exporting it. Once we've created that new file, then we would open that new file up. The tempo will have been changed in that area. And so at that point, then, you would actually set up your second loop point and change the tempo in it, export it so that change becomes permanent. Once you've exported it, then you would open it up, and you would then have two areas changed. You'd go to this third area that we had set up previously and designate it, change the tempo in this third area, and then you would export it a third time. And after that third export, you will have a file then that you will have changed the tempo in one, two, and now three areas. So it can be done in standard. As I said in the beginning, it's a lot more tedious and laborious, but if you have standard and need to do this, that's one way to be able to accomplish it.